Sky Temple. Howdy, that team. I'm banning Sky Temple. I think we still just get rid of KT. Yeah. Unless... Okay. Our first pick has said ban KT. He's not going to take Kael'thas. So we'll go ahead... A little, you know, it feels a little lame inside, right? But, you know, whatever. Get rid of KT. Maybe we just keep getting rid of KT so that we don't have an unpracticed KT on our team. Who knows? I know my KT used to be okay. Now it's pretty bad. I like doing double tank on this map a lot. Main tank zones. Off tank takes the temple. Really powerful too when there's multiple things going on multiple temples at once. To that note, I like Artanis the best, probably as an off tank. Uh, Nubarak being second. I think a Nubarak does a decent job main tanking. But what are we going to pick for these guys? We got a Zagar and a Zeratul. You know, those are great, both great heroes. Nothing against them. Not talking meta at all here. That's just a little body light, right? I want to see a Zagar. I want to see a Zeratul. But the two together always makes me a little scared. It's going to be a Li Ming and a Aztec Gold. A Li Ming and a Sylvanas. So with the Li Ming, we do have our warrant once again to go. We're going to have the Zul. Do we try it again? Do we just anubarak it up? Maybe. I mean, it's not it's not horribly interesting, but we got the Zul. We got the Anubarak. Uh, let's check if J-Tran is good to support. He's last pick. He gets stuck supporting. Support is a tough one right now. He's pretty angry about it, too. Hmm. Was he our support in the last one? We match history. No, he was just on Tracer on Tomb of the Spider Queen. He plays a lot of Morales. I guess he's a friend. Hmm. Rank 8. Gonna ban out a Sonya. Interesting. Ban ETC, homie, please. <laughs> well, I mean, who can argue with that logic? With that kind of statement. He's passionate, but he's he's making he put a please on there, right? So we'll we'll go with it. Okay, maybe a solo support Tassadar. It's an interesting idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. He doesn't know about another melee. Oh, that that's not a big. Relax, big dog. <laughs> uh, well, he's sporting a master skin. All right. He's passionate. It's going to be a Johanna. Not a huge counter to our group. They're doing a good job making up for the Li Ming, though, with the Vala. And why is that? I'ma ice these hoes. Sure, we, we could use a burst. Again, the Morales, you know, with this squishy... Oh my goodness, once again. Uh, I have a Zul for the back line. So, you know, it's not... It's not awful, but... Ooh, yet again. Whoever hits my baby medic is going down. All right. Looks like we got a rank one sugar daddy pulling his friend through. Jane appeals. What about it? They can't get me yet. Well, at least everyone's having a good time. And what are they going to do for their support? Rhaegar's open. Going to be a boring... Well, I'm sorry, Morales, man. Okay, so we'll probably cocoon the Malfurion. Uh, yesterday, we had a lot of success coco cocooning the Johanna at times. And that's a lot of squish behind the Johanna. So maybe that's not a bad idea. Yep, looks like we got a friend... With a friend and a friend on the other side. Not a, not a horrible matchup, though. Uh, 
All right, well, Beatles will help me out on the Sky Temple. We still have a lot of movement speed, haunting waves, teleports, valas, and whatnot. So, and with Johanna, you know, doing her sucks and stuff. That kills the beetles, so no beetle build for this one. We will be going Dampen Magic again. Probably do the exact same build. It stacks so well together. And we will absorb big ol' arcane orbs that come in on my team. We can also use Withering Fires to power our shields when we get to 7. So this looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll just dive straight into the Dampen Magic. I've been doing a lot of practice on Jaina myself, as the other bursts are either banned or early picked. And for just for personality sake, for Chromie, it's a little... Whoop. Gotta get that eye of the tiger, man. <laughs> Why not? Hey, at least he's excited. Zag, just go bot, baby! We don't need you. Well, she's gonna go top. No one's silenced or anything like that. Let's go ahead and bail before that gets too crazy. Yo, tank. What about it? What about me? Hmm? Just face checking stuff. You know how it is. I knew Brad can face check all his ones. One of my favorite things about the guy. Mm. I mean, I know I got a medic heal in the background, but good old Dampen Magic. They're really dogging this lane, aren't they? I do need to watch out for the Condemns a little bit, though. They'll end up absorbing my Dampen Magics. And the Burrow Dive is going to cancel out Morales' heal. So that's something to take note of as well. But we are getting a bonus lane of XP right now. Cool. Chill, man. Keep it real and whatnot. And as we just played a new Brat game, I gotta be careful, too, that I don't go aggressive on my hardened Carpus. Because that could mean the difference between surviving something or dying a little early. But, you know, on a nice stationary Johan, I think we win the fight here. Not with all her friends in the mix, though. Looks like Zagara is going to hang out in the bottom versus the Sylvanas. She does need someone up there. She needs to help a brother out. Uh, sick APM on your typing, dude. He's got a lot to say. All right, we're moving in. There goes the Dampen Magic for just a little bit. Seven seconds. Uh, you know, Sylvanas abandoned, so I don't think this is a bad call. Zul's almost done? Yeah, he's almost done. Morales is getting back. We'll stick around for half a second just to make sure... Some random bolt doesn't come in and mess up her nice plan. Zool's at half. Both lanes are soaked, though, so let's hang out here. At least till Zool is all better. I see you, Vala. Really would love a visual indicator on Damp and Shield outside the little one that spins around me. Something down here in the corner. But it's a pretty recent mechanic. Not been around a while for stitches, but a new Brack's pretty recent. We are getting the level lead, but we're not getting all the sweet kills I thought we might get in that early dog moment. I think Jaina will be okay. They're going down there. I'll soak up here. We can even apply some bonus beetles onto this gear building. And as the last one falls, we'll get on back. I'm 
Gucci. When did that start? All these fams and Gucci's and Pog Champs. I feel like such an old man. I don't know what's going on. I finally looked up Vape Nation. That was a discovery. I think we will be doing the chitinous plating. As each little mini missile out of Li Ming is going to recharge my shields. I'm going to keep the well for as long as we can. I've got a dampened magic ready to go if some random orb comes. All right, there it is. <laughs> Jane is a, an interesting one. Applying themselves a little hard on the tank there. Hope we can get Morales out. Go ahead and disengage this. A very different kind of disengage than Diablo gets to enjoy. It's just a it let me run away from this, I guess I should say. We do need our support, though. Got a lot of noise in lane, which is nice and pretty anti Li Ming, but. Alright, let's, let's get back to our Morales. Oh no. Just diving ahead of any incoming spells that might go on our Zagara there. Ming. These guys need me to be brave. But I'm not feeling very brave. Guess I should have left. But we got top. Seem to be having a rough time. What's going on? Vala. Vala's going on. Vala go going on a lot. So we'll definitely make her the primary target for the web blast. We seem to be having some sort of focus issue, though. Maybe it's just an auto-attack thing. Maybe that's not in the meta right now. Going forward, let's maybe pick the auto-attack for the rest of the day. There seems to be a, a lack of desire for it. So she wants to get a Vala. That's a nice shot. I think we're good for this. Yeah, this is going to take a little longer than we maybe hoped for, but... Let's get this cleaned up. Oh, we got someone dead. We can absorb that one. Now we're out of commission for eight seconds or so. Malfurion can actually burn my Dampen Magic pretty well if he's paying attention. Which will be an interesting thing into the future, like Block. As people learn to counter the Dampen Magic. Val is back, though. Okay, we're all grouped up at the moment. So, what were they doing up there? They're waiting for some sort of sick gank. Maybe out of range to participate. Cocooning the Li Ming right before an alt. That was a shame. Okay, but you know what? Let's see. Nice! Bravery pays off this day. Temples are going up. I think we can burn this down. 12 seconds, though. Shane is on her way. Not exactly the one we want to be soloing a temple. Yeah, that'll that'll take care of itself. Oh right. I yeah, let's wait might as well. We're taking the spell damage, getting more shields all the time. Let's take a little breather. Let our XP regenerate a little bit. 
I'll stay on this while they take care of that. Nah, Vala. Vala messes me up with her auto attack business. And Zul's solo dueling down in the bottom. Okay, cool. Nice. Excellent. You know, Jaina Anubarak, actually. Those slows are letting my beetles catch up, and it's not a ton of damage being put out, but it is something. Boss. They want a boss? I would love some mana, but we got 15 seconds, and I really am targeting Vala as the main issue here. Oh, no. She is out of steam. Okay, cool. Zul's getting the buff. Let's save our mana for a cocoon. I'm not sure who would come in here and try to ruin my good day, but it could happen. Cool. Okay, they want to do that too. Still, still would love some, some manas. I think we can do this fast enough. Also got a Vol in the middle. Oh no, Jane's gonna go for it. There, back up. Let's spend the mana before we blow it. Okay. Temples soonish. Yeah, Vala's still up top, and my main counter for my dampened magic business. So I don't think we need to worry about locking down the Li Ming too, too much. Johanna's doing a great job absorbing damage. I think we got a lucky kill there earlier on. Now we got the epicenter, though, and we got the full manas. What is this? 65, 30. So shield is still my best way to generate beetles. And we maybe want to go a little a little light on our impales that are going to miss. Big dog burrow here, big dog. Okay. I can do that. It's a plan. I think we got around the corner here invisibly enough. Ball is in the bottom, my main concern. Here comes Li Ming. I don't care about Li Ming. And what do you, what, what's that, what's all that about? You see some people isolated in the middle. They saw us come around the corner there. Nice. Cool. Great. Was that Johanna? It was. Ooh, that's a that's a good pickup. I don't think they're really able to absorb. I'll get top here. I'd like for them all to stick together. I can always bail. I don't know why they would head in two down. And we can spawn a little beetle for him to play with. And I think this will be a nice, relaxing temple. I don't want to ride the ride today. Nubrak cannot solo mercs, though. Maybe with a beetle build, but still, I think it would be... It's always going to be a slow affair. Alright, so now what? The map is blue. Yep, we got a soak 20. Maybe we win a fight two levels up. But really, we just kind of relax. Kick it. Hang out. There's a Sylphanas, but we need Jaina, really, for deletions. Oop, that's going to be a little dangerous place there. Okay, cool. It's going to be okay. Watching out for the Morales. Are they taking this camp? Possibly. Okay, we're a little late to it. No big deal.
Oof. One second on that. Okay, let's get out of here. That was bad. That was oddly bad. Zagar was out of position. She exploded early on. I wasn't able to get her damage out. Everyone's kind of out of position. Bummer on that front. And this will be a bottom keep for them. I'll be as loud as I can, but... I mean, we can if there's four. If they pile up tight, I can burrow charge in and burrow charge out, but... There'll be a lot of damage. Whoops. I have the... I hit it, but we were waiting on what? We had four of them. We went into a root and exploded. Bummer. Bad call. Thought we'd just make some noise. I honestly thought that would work. But we had two second cooldown and the roots came out. Well, let's see. This got a lot more, like much like the last game. Maybe Anubarak has a nice early spike, but we're losing the tankiness as the game goes on, perhaps. Either way, I'm back. Wait for me. This fight looks very different if I didn't do the stupid thing. And yeah, we got some skeletons now. She's entire. Ball is entirely isolated in the top. We are just. There we go. Okay. But she just shows up and just wrecks my dudes. Huh. We can't kill him fast enough. Just lacking damage. Even with Vala removed, she got the full duration too. I mean, there's really nothing bonus I could have done there. And we get 20, and I'll have Rewind. We can, you know, make a... And I got the mana for it this game, but... Interesting. So we need a bigger body if we don't have... I mean, Zul's not enough. We're just having problems there. And this will be this will be the end, sadly. With two Catapults and a Vala. You know, maybe she'll run away. Okay. Those Catapults are still just really gonna hurt, though. We'll Rewind it. They're going boss at the moment. Hmm. That'd be nice. I think we're too far back, dudes. It's too fast. We can get on it a little early. They're definitely on our camp there. I mean, is it the Johanna? Should we should we wrap the Johanna? Is that what we need? Oh dear. Or are people focusing the Johanna? Is that the problem? What's her damage absorb? It's not crazy. We got rid of the healing Malfury in there and we still just exploded. Huh. Well, that's gonna be a game. Interesting. Well... The extreme ones in <laughs> the extreme ones in happiness are also the extreme ones in sadness and frustration. 
Please rate the hero you played. I think... Oh. Well, that's a shame. Looks like we're going to have to battle it out today. Hmm. Clearly, I did a dumb thing. 100% did a dumb thing there. I thought I could ride it in. I ended up with a two-second cooldown. I bumped three into the air instead of four, so I wasn't able to instantly get out. It was a dumb idea. And dumb ideas in late game do lose games. I would have been to that top sooner. So we can put all that on me. Johanna didn't absorb a stupid amount of damage, though, so I'm just curious as to where it all went. And was there not enough, perhaps? Jaina, Zagara, Zul, you know, those aren't... Those aren't auto-attackers, and I can't hold the front line as long as a Johanna, so by sort of war of attrition, and also the damage applied, I mean, let's let's take a look here. So it was 50,000 down to 42,000, and we're already getting the totals on Johanna. Actually, yeah, so for our total damage dealt, yeah, Johanna absorbed most of it. So, looks like solo tanking a Nubrak. Granted, uh, we've always been open to getting another tank on the team. It's not like we've been saying, no, I must solo tank. Uh, but, interesting. I think our, our build performed well. Vala absolutely was able to burn through me. What did she do? Yeah, it was searing attacks. It was a full auto attack build as she should have done. Giant killer tumble. Tumble for the... Second, yeah, I guess so. We were kind of ganking her a little bit in the early game. But we did the Dampened Magic, the Underking, the Chitinous Plating. I mean, we did the the tank build of a new Barak right now against a more mobile team that wouldn't be up against the... and able to easily destroy the Beatles, too. Very few situations you can do a Beetle build in. Uh, you know, maybe we could have done Regeneration Master, but then I think we're dying to Lee Ming in the early game. So, let's see if we can get the Morales off our team. Let's drop the Anubarak. I think we're going to go into auto-attacking the rest of the day. 